In Psalm 3, King David describes a, a tough situation. He says that it's him against 10,000. <laughs> it's him against 10,000. Could you imagine the, uh, like a football game? It was one against and you had 10,000 people in your way between you and the end zone. I don't think you'd feel very confident. And yet David in the Psalm, he says, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. 10,000 people surrounding me and it's, it's just me. And I'm not afraid. And why he wasn't afraid was, of course, because the one who was with him is bigger and better than the 10,000 who were against him. <sighs> Man, life can overwhelm you sometimes. The number of things seemingly working against you it can pile up, it can pile up, it can keep coming, it can keep coming and be so overwhelming that you can lose hope pretty easily. But we have the right to say and have the same type of perspective that David did, that even if it's 10,000 different things that you can identify that are working against you because the Lord is with you, you don't need to be afraid. When I read that, I, I thought about Gideon going against the Midianites. You know, he was he was leading his army against the Midianites and there were like 32,000 men that Gideon was leading. That's a, that's a pretty big army. That's bigger than 10,000. But the Midianites had 135,000. And so that was like, it was like four to one odds, not in your favor. And God said, you know what? Those odds are actually too good. And he said, Gideon, I want you to, I want you to narrow down your army a little bit. And he gave him some criteria for that and narrowed it down to like 10,000. And, and you know, so then the odds were still not, well, they were even worse. And God said, you know what? That's, that's too many men, Gideon. You have way too many men. You know, 10,000 against 135,000. That's, ah, those aren't, those aren't good odds. <laughs> so he made the odds worse. He, he took Gideon's army down to 400 men. 400 going against 135,000. That's, uh, the odds would be mathematically 450 to 1. So again, you know, picture a football field. <laughs> One person going against 450. Even that's, yeah, even that's impossible, but not for God. God wanted to teach Gideon and his army that day that as long as you have God with you, it doesn't matter what the odds look like or feel like. God is with you, even if there are 450 different challenges standing in your way, even if there are 10,000 different obstacles standing in your way, and even if you are what's getting in your way. You know, even if you can't get out of your own way, your, your missteps, your mistakes, your immaturity, even if you are getting in your own way, you still don't need to be afraid. Just remember the day that everything was against God. No one was there for him. Not his friends, not his government, not his neighbors, not his family. Not even his Father in heaven. Not because his Father in heaven didn't love him as he was hanging there on the cross. But because he was keeping a promise to always love you, and forgive you, Give whatever is needed to care for you. On the darkest, most difficult day of all, when everything was against our Savior, you still won. You gained heaven. You gained a spot in God's own family. And that's where you are and always will be. Doesn't matter what's against you. Your God is with you. Rest well tonight, my friends. <laughs>